Right now at 11, more rain is here. Our storm ranger is scanning the skies above San Bruno Mountain as rain and strong winds return to the Bay Area. We are continuing to monitor those conditions as we track another microclimate weather alert to start your work week. I want to say a good morning to you. Thanks for joining us for our midday newscast. I'm Marcus Washington. And I'm Laura Garcia. A reminder, you can also watch us live on Roku, Amazon Fire, and online. Now to a live look across the Bay Area where another winter storm is moving in. Rain, strong winds, even another chance of snow is expected. We have new video in from a viewer in Half Moon Bay. The rain really coming down. The peninsula, one of the many places seeing that impact right now. We have live team coverage for you this midday. NBC Bay Area's Bob Riddell and Mike Noe, they are tracking impacts across the Bay Area. But first, we want to kick things off with meteorologist Gary Hall, where that rain is right now, Carrie, pretty much covering the Bay Area. It is, and there were some people who heard some claps of thunder as well over the past couple of hours. We are now seeing some of the heaviest rain moving through the South Bay, but also a lot of colors here on the radar. A storm ranger scans around the Bay Area. There is some dark blue, which indicates some very heavy snowfall coming down as you go up above about three or 4,000 feet. We've also seen some snow coming down on some of our East Bay Hills. It's really adding up on top of what we've already seen as some heavy rain moves through the South Bay, creating some low visibility. You can see it down around the Campbell and uh, Saratoga areas as well as South San Jose, but it's also affecting much of the East Bay into the Tri Valley. This all moved in over the past couple of hours and we had some lightning, but we haven't seen it recently, but we're still monitoring for that potential of some thunderstorms as this all moves through the Bay Area with the center of the storm still well to the north of us. It will taper off to more scattered activity. Looking at just the impact of the snow, there is a winter weather advisory in effect for our elevations above 2500 feet, an additional one to three inches of snow, but it could be as high as another foot from Mount Hamilton and elevations above 4,000 feet. So we're going to be watching out for all of that and talking about the impacts as we go throughout the day. Marcus and Laura. All right. Thanks, Carrie. All right. We saw the green radar. You see it right here. The East Bay, one of the places getting pummeled by rain right now. NBC Bay Area's Bob Riddell joining us live from Livermore right now. Bob, how are the conditions there? Well, we started seeing the rain uh, light drizzle about 75 minutes ago, and I'd say within the past 20 to 30 minutes, as you can see, it really started coming down. We've got a little bit of a lull right now, but we did have a pretty good downpour along with some uh, gusty winds that are quite actually uh, cold if you have your fingers uh, exposed. I want to show you the south uh, valley here of Livermore. You can see the clouds that are shrouding the hills behind me, but as you saw this morning, there is snow in those hills, and as Carrie was mentioning, we expect more snow. It's probably falling right now as I speak uh, behind that cloud cover, uh, you know, anywhere from a one to two inches to up to several inches, depending on how high uh, you go up. Uh, now, this is new video into our newsroom of what the conditions are like up in the North Bay. This is Highway 101 near Yolanda Avenue, south of Santa Rosa. You can see it was a light rain, heavy drizzle. Uh, in spite of all this snow and rain, all of California is remarkably still in a drought. Now, the severity varies by region. Uh, most of the state, uh, including the Bay Area, is in a moderate drought. That's according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. The Central Coast is just abnormally dry. That's the lowest level of severity for a drought. The Central Valley up north and way down south, still severe. Uh, this is much better than a year ago, however, when many parts of the state were in an extreme drought. We've gotten a ton so far, so we can definitely be thankful for that. Um, as far as you know, the drought situation going forward, we need to keep a close eye and see how a lot of our reservoirs respond to not just the rain we just received, but also a lot of the snowfall, because eventually that will melt and make its way down into our reservoirs so we can finally use more of it. More people have lost power this morning. According to PG&E, just over 8,400 customers are without electricity throughout the Bay Area. As you can see on your screen, the majority are in the North and South Bay, some on the peninsula, a handful here in the East Bay and NSF. This morning, there were only about 4,700 customers without power. PG&E has workers out in the field trying to turn the lights back on for their customers. And back out here live, as you can see behind me here on Tesla Road in the southern part of Livermore, uh, the roads are very slick. You do want to watch your speed. Speed. 